going to live here from the condo with my jumbo bubble tea from morning. It's live from last week, episode 131. Let's go! my fellow Jay Walkers to another episode of Laugh from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. First of all, throwing back to yesterday, when I told you guys that I was planning to hang out on the patios with some of my co-workers. We are currently having a post-class hangout at a patio in downtown. I randomly ran into one of my buddies that I knew from back in my times living at Neo Wysick. Guys, check out who I ran into while at W Burger Bar. Yo, Scott from Wysick. Probably saw you last time at one of our steamer parties. Yeah, steamer parties, probably over five years ago. Jay always did the photography. Yeah, I used to shoot photos for that party. All right, Scott, nice seeing you and randomly running into you, buddy. But yeah, waking up this morning, having passed out on the couch, I was trying to recall just exactly how I got home from all of last night's activities. But by going through my phone and creating this music video for you guys, I was able to relive all the fun times that we had catching up with my coworkers on a Monday night. Anyways, chilling at home today, relaxing before I go in for my first of my scheduled two night shifts tonight. We'll continue on with today's birthday greetings. With a first birthday shout out, going out to someone who I met who sold me my beloved inflatable kayak a couple years back. This birthday greeting goes out to you, James. Happy birthday, James. Our next birthday greeting goes out to one of my coworkers who I know for their energetic and youthful energy every time I see them. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Lisa Lynn. Happy birthday, Lisa Lynn. Following up, we got a birthday greeting to one of my classmates in university who graduated with me in 2009. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bethany. Happy birthday, Bethany. Next birthday greeting goes out to one of my family friends who I'm remembering playing volleyball with as well as hanging out with in Jamaica during Edouard's wedding. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rob. Happy birthday, Rob. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my other coworkers who we always consult each other with when it comes to future travels and vacations worldwide. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Natalie. Happy birthday, Nat. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. First of all, I wanted to start off today with wishing everybody a happy first full day of summer happy first full day of summer guys anyways once again just like i did a couple weeks back so after i'm not as bad as i thought night shift redeployed to a medicine unit last night i'm here at riverdale park east i'm here at riverdale park east for some beautiful morning views relaxing in between my night shifts and after being stuck inside the hospital for my night shift over the past 13 hours, getting outside to get some nice fresh air. 
But anyways, before I go home to rest up for the rest of the day, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers who has made several cameos on previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Marlene. Happy birthday, Marlene. Alles gut und zum Geburtstag. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So guys, last night during my commute, I did something that I haven't done in a long, long time. Something that I can't even remember the last time it had happened. Recalling going to the Ed Sheeran concert last week and him performing this song. Well, when this exact song came on the radio while driving to work yesterday, I recalled the story that Ed said that this song was for about his close friend who recently passed away. So as I started to listen to the lyrics a little bit more carefully, all of a sudden guys, I started to get overwhelmed with emotion. Oh my god. This song is so sad. Oh my. Like I mean, how can you not cry after learning the true meaning of the song guys? But yeah, coincidentally, also this evening, while on the way to pick up the wife from her day shift downtown, just guess what song started to play on the car stereo once again. So I keep dancing with my eyes, eyes, But luckily, this time guys, I was able to hold it together, actually enjoying this time the song of dancing with my eyes closed. And once I was able to pick up the wife, witnessing on the streets of downtown Toronto, my friend Steve's Neon Riders group riding their bikes on a pride ride today, a group that me and my buddy Scott had ridden with last summer. Further on tonight, the wife and I had got dinner at a place that we have frequented in the past, mainly for takeout options, not necessarily dining in here over the past couple of years, at Kinton Ramen in the Kennedy Commons area, to finish up this delicious pork ramen meal with a side of gyoza until we finished all this food traditionally showing off the bottom of the bowl and filling our tummies to the brim anyways guys before we wrap it up for this evening we'll do our birthday shout outs of the day starting out with one of my beach volleyball friends who i'm remembering pairing up with during one of rob's organized events this birthday shout out goes out to you elizabeth Happy birthday, Elizabeth. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I'm remembering held a pool party for her birthday back when we were kids. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Maggie. Happy birthday, Maggie. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So last night when I got home, we decided to open up the mail and had received a thank you card from the wedding of my former co-workers, Joe and Tyler. You know, the one that you guys remember from a couple weeks back. So once again, a big thanks to Joe and Tyler for letting me celebrate that special occasion with them and to be a part of your guys' special night. And speaking of celebrations, we got a quick birthday greeting to one of my great childhood friends of whom I last ran into in the Regent Park area a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Chrissy. Happy birthday, Chrissy. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, guys, back to last week when I mentioned this piece of news to you guys. I bit the bullet using that tax refund check that I cashed in last week to buy tickets for the wife and I to see next Friday, the one, the only, the Canadian legend, Shania Twain. Well, after walking the Toronto Indy circuit for a little bit, I'm figuring out that tonight is that night where I get to listen to the singer who would be playing on my buddy Shaughnessy's mom's stereo whenever I visited him when I was younger. Coming back here to Toronto's Budweiser stage to catch the concert of the one, the only, Shania Twain.
So after an amazing time at the concert last night, where we saw the opening act, Lindsay L, jam out through this performance, witnessed the Canadian Queen do her thing, singing some of my all-time favorite songs, And seeing this random skunk make its way through the fans coming home from the concert. The wife and I wrapped up the night by getting some late night McDonald's eats. But yeah, on to today where I went to a local breakfast place that I always pass by on my commutes home. The place called the Rise and Dine Eatery. I got a dish of some delicious steak and eggs, meeting up the sister and Andrew to get some brunch this morning. We next headed up here to the Midland and Finch area, which Andrew had aptly renamed Publicity, aka Bubble City, known for the Asian restaurants and bubble tea stores. For the first time since this episode right here, doing our own tradition whenever they come visit from Ottawa and getting some bubble tea. So we went to this local bubble tea shop called Morning, ordering the Jumbo Milk Tea, which you guys can tell were the biggest bubble teas I've ever gotten in my life, pretty much being compared to the size of my face. Cheers, guys. That's good. That's good. Also, throwing back to this episode several weeks ago. Ooh, Pasa Nubo. What is it? The cat stuff. Maybe I'll blur it out for Nika. <laughs> she doesn't have to see this. Not yet, Nika. Thanks, <laughs> man. Well, today we finally got that gift delivered in the hands of my sister. Hey, Louie, we got Nika reuniting her with her gift from Japan. Okay, open it up so we can show Louie. What do you think it is? <laughs> Kitty coin purse. <laughs> Thanks, Louie. How do you say it in Japanese? Konnichiwa. <laughs> we then continued our adventures here, seeing this ad at a local cha time where for a limited time only you can get these bubble tea pride pins for a minimal purchase so after ordering the minimal purchase required the sister finally got what she wanted and received that cute bubble tea pin she also learned this new bubble tea straw insertion technique which may or may not have worked for her you can do it. 45, 45 degree angle. Don't touch, don't touch. All right. Oh my no God. Use your medical physics oh degree. <laughs> no, you're doing it up. Yeah. Calculate that. Yeah. Anyways, guys, before I go back home on the motorcycle, trying to take the rest of this jumbo bubble tea with me on my ride, and go in for my first of my three scheduled night shifts tonight. We just have a quick birthday greeting to my niece out there who I nickname Niece. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Aaliyah. Happy birthday, Aaliyah. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. With last night coming into my night shift, finding out that I was redeployed to another medicine unit on 10 South, I was kind of nervous because this unit is a unit that's not necessarily my specialty. But after working with a great team last night, shout outs especially to Sydney, Joseph, and Tass, I really felt welcome and at ease during my night shift. But on to today where I got a quick post night shift nap in but not feeling recharged much. I stayed at home to catch Sunday Catholic Mass, watching it on YouTube this afternoon, before continuing to try to work on finishing that jumbo bubble tea that we got with this sister yesterday. 
But yeah, with the Pride Parade happening in downtown Toronto today, an event that I celebrated and attended with a couple of friends that you guys remember from a year ago. Woo! I'm a gamer too! I'm a gamer too! <laughs> Although I'm not able to attend this year being in the middle of three night shifts, I just want to wish everybody who's celebrating out there a happy Pride Day 2023. And moving on to other celebrations of the day, before I go in for my second scheduled night shift tonight, redeployed to the sister unit, I have a quick birthday greeting to a high school friend of mine who I'm remembering playing soccer as a goalkeeper back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tammy. Happy birthday, Tammy. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my nephews in the Philippines who I'm remembering visiting in Iloilo almost a decade ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jam Jam. Happy birthday, Jam Jam. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after my night shift where I received this video from the wife of the spectacular thunderstorm in Toronto last night, today I'm still feeling pretty excited, only able to get a quick post night shift nap in. In part because I still have the songs from Shania Twain's concert stuck in my head, telling me to get up before my alarms go off. And today, June 26th, getting my voters card in the mail earlier this week, we have the 2023 Toronto Mayoral Election. Where I was able to go to my local voting poll and cast my vote for Toronto's next mayor. Anyways guys, now on to day 3 of trying to finish this jumbo bubble tea before I go in for my third night shift in a row. Finally going back to the home unit tonight, working on my third unit in as many nights. We'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.